Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements, and here we are looking at some of the new features in Premiere Elements 2018. Now, one new feature is actually a combination of two older features. Now, the old Smart Trim feature used to take a longer clip and it would automatically select the best moments from it based on the quality of the images that were recorded. There's also a tool called favorite moments that used to allow you to take the best moments from a clip. This new tool called Smart Trim actually is a combination of those two. So let's select a clip on our timeline. We'll go over to the Tools menu on the toolbar and open up Smart Trim. Now Smart Trim does some things automatically as you see it's done. It has selected a number of clips. Wow, we actually have a number of very nice selections already made here on the timeline. In fact, pretty much the whole clip is broken it up into smaller pieces based on content. And we have some control over the segments that is selected here from the clip. Now on the preset panel here on the left, we can set the tool up to select only elements that have faces in them. Uh, this, if you make a selection or a change to the preset, of course, you get a warning that's going to eliminate the choices it's already made. We'll do that by clicking yes. These are segments in the video in which faces appear. You can select the option for it to choose the best action by selecting the middle preset, or a mix of the two, in which case it's going to choose the best moments from the whole movie that have faces and action. And whatever you select, you have a slider here underneath the presets for setting it to be more or less tolerant. So if I select more, it's going to select more images or segments from the video. Less is going to select fewer. So let's set it right in the middle. We also can, of course, make manual selections. We can select any one of these segments, like this one here on the timeline. And when I hover over the upper right, you see the little check mark changes to an X. If I click on the X, it will eliminate that segment. We can also manually select segments by moving the playhead and then clicking either the plus button here on the little camcorder or clicking on mark manually. It does the same thing and we can set the beginning and end for our segment. Now once we've selected all the segments from the long clip, we have the option of porting them to our timeline. Now we can do that either export merged down here in the lower right hand corner, in which case it all comes out as just one clip or export individual, in which case it's going to come out as several short clips, or these clips are only going to appear, but each one is going to appear as a separate clip on our timeline. Over on the left you see you have the option here to apply a transition between each clip. We'll leave that set for now, but let's export individual, and when I click on that, we'll go back to our timeline. Here are the individual segments that were selected from the longer clip, and as you see there's a little transition between each segment. Now in this case we start with a clip that was only a minute and a half long, but if we had a five or ten minute clip, you can see how this tool would come in handy for choosing only the best segments from a longer clip, and it does so semi-automatically. Now if you want to know more about this tool and all the tools in Premiere Elements, you do want to check out the tips and tutorials at MoviePix.com. If you want to know everything about the program, the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements 2018 is available at Amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me.